A while back I did a video showing you how to turn your hero banner into a video hero banner and since that time I've had quite a few questions and requests such as can you have it show the text on desktop but not on mobile or can you remove the white box surrounding it or how do I change the spacing below the banner. In this video I'm going to answer all of those questions so that you can adjust the video banner code to look exactly how you want it. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, drop shipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now let's get into the video. All right, the first question I'm going to answer is why isn't my video link working? So you've pasted the code, you're pressing enter, you are clicking and it just disappears. What's up? Now, if you're watching this video without seeing the first one, make sure to watch that video first. You can click the link here to do that and then come back here because in that video, I show you how to add the code to your theme, where to find free videos and what to do. But back to the question, this is actually a really simple fix. All you have to do is click this right here and it solves that problem. Another question I got a lot was how to remove this white square around the text. I'm going to show you how to do that, but I'm also going to show you how to change the color. So maybe for your theme, black might work better than white. So I'm going to show you both how to remove it completely and how to change the color. We're going to be diving into the code for this, and I know that's not for everyone, or maybe you try it out and it doesn't work out the way you wanted it to. So if you want us to edit it for you, you can reach out to us through our website and fill out a store tweaks request, and we can help you out. For those of you that want to give it a go on your own, let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do is preview your store. So click these three dots here and click preview. Keep this tab open and go back to your previous tab and click exit. If you haven't done so already, make sure to duplicate your theme. We're going to be editing the code, so it's important to back up your theme just in case. Once your theme has been duplicated, click actions, edit code, click sections, and find video-background.liquid. Now go back to your store preview, right click, and click inspect. Then what you want to do is click this little tool here, and then click on the white part of the video banner. When you do that, you will see the code for this part appear over here. See how it says dot video background comma dot video box info? Keep that in mind for when we go over to the code because that is what we're going to be looking for. But first, this line right here is what we need to change. Currently, it's saying that for the background, we want a white background that is slightly transparent so that you can see through it a little bit. If you double click this here, you can erase that and instead type none. Quite simply, this code is asking us what background do you want to see here? We are saying none, no background. Now, when you edit the code here, you haven't actually edited the actual theme code. If you refresh your page, this will all be gone. This is just a way for you to find the piece of code you will need to edit and to see a visual before you actually make that change permanent. We're going to make that change permanent now, so let's go back to your code. If you go down to line 281, you can see that we have the same text here, dot video background, dot video box info. So we know we're in the right spot, and here we can see that same background code. Highlight all of this stuff here, delete it by backspacing, and instead type none. Click save. And now if we preview our theme, we can see the white background has disappeared. Now the reason I added the white background is because the text can be hard to see, especially depending on which video you have behind the text. So if you don't actually want to remove it completely, but you do want to change the color, instead of erasing that piece of text, you would instead change these three numbers right here. Ignore the 0.7, that is the piece of code that's making it slightly transparent. For black, it's 0, 0, 0, but if you wanted to change it to pink, blue, or purple, you could do that as well. Just go to colorhexa.com, find the color of your choice, and then scroll down here where you will see RGB decimal, and then you would paste those same numbers in here. Here's the result of a video banner with a black background behind it. It looks much better with this theme. The next question I received a lot was how to remove the text when you're viewing it on your phone. So show the text if you're looking at the website from a computer, but hide it if you're viewing it from your phone. For this one, you want to scroll down until you get to line 399. Depending on which parts of code you have added or removed, the line numbers might be a little bit different, 
But the key thing you want to see here is this text where it says at media screen and max width 767px. Everything under this line is coded specifically for your mobile view, so this is where we want to be. We are going to click between these two brackets here, and then we will paste a piece of code. To get this code and all the other video codes, you can head to our private Facebook group. I'll have a link in our description box. Once your code is pasted, we are going to do two other edits. Right above the piece of code we just pasted, you should see dot video background dot video box info. You want to type background colon none semicolon. The final edit is right here. We are going to change this number from 500 to 300. Save your work and then this is how it looks on desktop. And if I make my screen smaller, you can see that on mobile view, it would look like this. This brings me to the final question I received, which was how do I fix the spacing between the video and the section below it? Sometimes when you add or move sections around, the spacing is off. You can see here when I move the multi-column section up, it is flush with the video and it looks odd. So let's fix that. For this one, you want to go to line 173. You should see this dot video background code. We're going to add another line of code. You can type it with me. It's padding dash bottom colon space 90px semicolon. You can decrease this number if you want less space or increase it for a larger gap. Here's the result. You can see we have nice even spacing here that matches the section below it. We now need to do the same for the mobile view because left as is, the spacing will be the same as we see here and that gap is way too big for your mobile view. For this one, you want to go down to line 401. Again, depending on which pieces of code you have added or removed, this might be slightly different. You just wanna make sure that you see this at media screen code and we're going to be editing below that line. Anything above this line, you are editing the desktop version, which is not what we wanna do. So let's click right here between these two curly brackets and then you're going to add in this section of code. Again, feel free to increase or decrease that number depending on how much or how little space you want. Here's the result, and here's the full thing. Here's the spacing on desktop, and here's the spacing on mobile. One last variation, if you have added the code to remove the text when viewing it from your phone, in addition to the above code, you will also need to adjust this piece of code here. Where it says 40px, you can change that to 10, or try lower depending on your needs. For this theme, zero looks good, so that's what I'm gonna type. Click save, and here is the result. Again, if you need help tweaking the code, don't hesitate to reach out. I will add a link in our description box where you can fill out a store tweaks request if you need some help. If you like this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We post a lot of time sensitive content such as winning products on this channel. So make sure you have notifications turned on so that you can be one of the first to market when we post those videos.